Hi there, my name is Chris Downing, Application Engineer from Man and Machine UK. In this video I'm going to show you how to export a plant 3D model and use it to create a Revit family file. So the thing with Revit is it can't view plant 3D objects. They come through into Revit, they come through and they are shown as wires or lines. So what we need to do is export our 3D model to a uh, export it so that it becomes a uh, 3D AutoCAD solid rather than plant 3D objects. So what I've done, I have loaded a new tool. I've used NetLoad to load a tool called Batch Export to AutoCAD. If you'd like a copy of this file, you can email Man and Machine and I will be happy to send you a copy of this file. So I'm loading the tool. And then when I type batch, I get some options. And this one here, batch export to AutoCAD, is the new tool that I've got from that DLL file. So I press enter. And now it's asking for a location where to save my solid CAD file. So I'm going to save it in my solid model folder on my desktop for now. Okay, so there it goes through and it finds all the plant. Uh, models within this project, so all the X references, uh, and it creates 3D solids from those files. Once I OK that, I can go to my folder and we can have a look here and open that file, and you'll see it is exactly the same as my 3D model in plant. There's my plant model. Uh, and here is my new solid model. So you'll see that when I click on these items here, they're just solids. They have no plant 3D functionality. The X references are brought in as X references and they are also solids now as well. So this is now going to be usable within Revit. Close and don't need to save and open Revit. So I will start a new family file using the template uh, generic model, Revit family template, generic model. And I'll go to the insert tab and select import CAD and find my 3D solids. And you'll see that my model has been imported into Revit, as it should. I'll just switch to a 3D view here, so you can see it better. And I'll switch to a shaded visual style. So you can see it's pretty much exactly the same as our 3D model now. We can save this as a family file and use it to import in any project that we choose. And this concludes my video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Man and Machine UK. Thanks for listening. Bye.